This is The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 here on YouTube. It is always a pleasure to record these videos, to edit them, put my unique spin on them. For your viewing pleasure, for your listening pleasure. And if you like the videos that you've seen thus far, hit that like button. Share these videos with other people that you know that like comic book related stuff as much as you do. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. Which one? All. Not personalized or the one underneath, but all. So the next time a new video is dropped, you'll know by the second how nobody posts. Uh, they're not that big, but they're big enough. Anyway, you clicked on the thumbnail. You know what the video is about. Thunderbolts. I'm going to say it again. Thunderbolts. And I'll say it one more time in case the first two times you still had no clue what I was talking about. And you won't have one. You won't have a clue here now either. But for the third time, I guess the third time's the charm. This is the trailer for Thunderbolts. See? No thunder, no lightning, because no one knows about the Thunderbolts. Now, you know, I've been doing this channel for about, I think, two years, and it's been an upward climb. You know what I mean? Like, we're not an explosive channel. We don't have, like, thousands of views per day or per week or whatever. I mean, it would be great to have a thousand views on a single video. Like, But, but I'm a small channel right now. So I've been doing sort of insider videos, you know, about like what's coming up, like, and I've talked about the Thunderbolts, but the general public has no clue who the Thunderbolts are. They don't. That mean I added jingle to it. But I know who the Thunderbolts are because I read the comic books. Now, to me, in my opinion, the greatest incarnation of the Thunderbolts were under Norman Osborn as the Iron Patriot when he was Hammer instead of Shield. You know, because Norman Osborn is a, a psychopath. He's a he's, he's just a lunatic, and he's aggressive. So instead of being Shield, he was placed in charge of that company, Shield, and he called it Hammer instead. So something that's aggressive rather than something that's defensive. And what he did was he took sort of I don't want to say fringe characters, but he took like villains and put them in very popular Avengers garb. For instance, he took Mac Gargan, who was uh, traditionally the Scorpion, and made him Spider-Man when he was really just Mac Gargan, the psychopath who plays the Scorpion, with the Venom symbiote. But he's like, hey, the average Joe don't know the difference between Black Spider-Man and Venom as Spider-Man. So he was actually Venom, but he's called him Spider-Man. Bullseye. Another psychopath. He, he kind of uses the cards or whatever. And, and he is a deadly marksman. Insane. He put him in Hawkeye's outfit and called him Hawkeye. Daken. Or is it Daken? I'm not sure. Wolverine's son. Yes, Wolverine has a son. He put on Wolverine's brown and tan garb. Called him Wolverine. So it's just a, a distortion of our heroes under Norman Osborn, whose Iron Patriot outfit is in the configuration of an Iron Man suit. So Hammer is just like this corrupt... Like, I don't want to say perversion of the Avengers, but that's who Hammer was. That's who the Thunderbolts were. And they also had Ares, who kind of is on the side of whoever he wants to be on. They had a, 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 a Kree, excuse me, not a scroll, but a Kree. And I think Mockingbird was a part of it. That was my favorite incarnation of the Thunderbolts. And the Thunderbolts are basically almost like the Suicide Squad. It's like people that are hired by the government who are traditionally like evil characters to do good to go on like covert missions just like the suicide squad but this is marvel's version of the suicide squad now i do know that uh sebastian stan is reprising his role as the winter soldier the winter soldier is one of my favorite mcu characters but not even him not even sebastian stan as the winter soldier is upping my anticipation for this i believe it yes it's a movie because it says only in theaters okay because i have it uh keyed up uh queued up excuse me David Harbour, who was great as Hopper in Stranger Things, and he was also in, uh, I think, the first Equalizer movie. I like him as an actor, but not even him. Yelena Belova, who's played by Florence Pugh, who did a great job in Oppenheimer, not just because of certain scenes, but she's a tremendous actress. She's a beautiful actress. Not even her. One of the better parts of the Hawkeye series. Not even her can draw me to this. So now... Since I have no anticipation, it is now the trailer's responsibility to bring me to the theater. All right? And we're not going to waste any more time. I have on my trusty headphones. I almost said trusty dusty, but that would have been a little corny. I mean. So we are doing the Thunderbolts trailer. Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. In three, two, one, go. Luke. 
click leave on porch. Somebody has a horrible Russian accent. Your subordinates will be reported to Dorchester. That's Florence Pugh. Alexei, it's me. Open up. Yep, that's David Harbour. Is that enough? Maybe he uh buffed up some. Oh no, he didn't. His gut was out. Elena. Hi, Dad. Dad? I did not see Black Widow, by the way. Highly classified. Lot of work. Lot of work. Many irons in fire. You feel fulfilled? I love Florence Pugh. Yeah, so full, so filled. But why do you ask this? What, uh, what brings you here? Yellow. Hmm. There is something wrong with me. An emptiness. So I guess she's going to be. Oh, there he is. Ding. And I don't have purpose. I thought throwing myself. He goes, John Clark. Oh! They always like blowing up buildings in the MCU films. That reminds me of Black Widow's scene in Iron Man 2, which was arguably the best scene in that movie. I guess she's gonna be the new Black Widow of this after endgame iteration of the MCU. Oh, there's John Clark. Oh, I shaved that goatee, that beard. Taskmaster for that ghost from Hammy and the Wasp. Oh, oh no! Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Bob. Who sent you, Bob? No. Bob. Were you all? You were all sent. It's a trap. Everyone here has done bad things. Shadow ops. Robbing government labs. Contract kills. Yeah, that's definitely the girl from. So, someone wants us gone. He was a US agent. What the hell? Is that like a rocket boost? 2025? We're brought up with this belief. I forgot what her name was. That Julia Lindgren. The and there are bad guys. What's the plan? This could get messy. Oh. But eventually, you come to realize that there are bad guys. Yeah, there are. And there are worse guys. And nothing else. Look at you. So adorable. Why is there an asterisk? She's bulletproof. What happened to bulletproof? It's bulletproof ish. Is that Bucky? That is. That's not good. Is that the. Oh. May 2025. All right. My honest opinion. This trailer didn't do it for me. I'm sorry. There was a lot of explosions. There was a lot of shooting. There's a lot of people in uniforms. There's a lot of action in the trailer. But this is not drawing me to the theater to watch this. I'm sorry. Um, what's, what's her name? Uh, the Contessa? Julia Louis-Dreyfus? I think she debuted in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. Of course, she played Elaine in Seinfeld. Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Um... I'm still trying to gather my thoughts. I will say this. The Winter Soldier just seems out of place in this movie. I don't know. This movie seems too small scale, too low stakes for him to be in it. Like, Bucky was fighting alongside Cap. Bucky was staged in Wakanda. He got that, you know, uh, vibranium arm. He was at Cap's side. He's fighting for the fate of the universe. And now he's in this. No. Oh. No, he doesn't fit in there. He, he really doesn't. And Bob... Now, before I watched the trailer, they spoiled who Bob was. That's Bob Reynolds, who was a, an agoraphobic schizophrenic, or a, uh, something schizophrenic. But Bob Reynolds is a sentry. And the sentry is basically, like, almost the Marvel version of Superman. They say he has the power of a million exploding suns. So, I mean, that's a big deal, okay? 
but not even Bob is drawing me to the theaters. What about Bob? Not even Bob. No. It looks like a lot of stuff going on. It looks like it's trying to be a little Guardians of the Galaxy, and maybe that's not fair to say, but for some reason, Red Guardian, who's played by David Harbour, seems to be the one that's like the comic relief. Why? Why? And we have no idea who has assembled the Thunderbolts. Now, I'm, I'm gonna say this. If the second trailer shows that the Thunderbolts have been, as, been assigned to this group by Willem Dafoe as Norman Osborn, I will geek out. I will. But so far, this Thunderbolts trailer, this looks like a lot to do about nothing. We don't know what the plot is. All we know is this: these people seem to seemingly have been thrown together. Bob's there for some reason. We don't know what fate is facing the world. We just see the Contessa. I, I, I assume, I guess she's the one that put everybody together. U.S. agent John Clark, who played Captain America and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, is here. He almost seems out of place, too, because Falcon and the Winter Soldier was a decent series to me. And him and Bucky just look like they're being wasted in this. That's, that's just how I feel about it. I'm just, I'm being dead honest. I'm not going to say those words. But as far as a grade, Thunderbolts gets a C. This is a C for me. All right, so if you like my reaction to the trailer, if you like the trailer itself, if you didn't feel any kind of way about the trailer, if it didn't move the needle of anticipation in any particular direction, still, leave a comment. Where did you leave a comment? I'm glad you asked. David Brent will let you know. See where he's pointing? That's where you leave your comments. Down there. Do your part, I'll do my part. So the Great Expanse by John Bat 426 can and will expand. It's in the name.